I'm a little nervous. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Okay, I'm a little nervous. You're nervous? Yeah. I'm nervous using sound. No, 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 no. What else do I need to find out about you? Good. Good. So he comes over and he brings this kitchen up to help him get this like, heavy shit. Um, I, I would take a picture of the lunch we had with someone.
be in the middle of class and I'll be like, yo, Josh, we're going. Or something. Do you have? <laughs> For sure, bro. We're gonna do it all over again. Let's go. They're doing yoga. Oh, so just like. Why? Why? Is this shit good? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was me. Yeah. Really, really magnificent palace. Herod, he brought professional artists and... and Everybody sit down, please. Everybody, Josh. Two days. Look at the city. Look, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Okay, I'm literally doing this for you. Yeah. We can pretend it went correct. Connected to my faith than ever. So, 
beauty sack. <laughs> um, this trip has been amazing. Um, my first time in Israel, and I, I'm so happy I got to do it with you guys. Oh. <laughs> got it on film. I, I don't know. I love you guys. This trip was so amazing. Um, it's really important to be here because uh, I'm not really religious, but I feel like this is something everyone should do, um, especially come to Israel. Uh, my grandma was going to take us here, my whole family. Um, but recently she passed away because my brother just turned 13, um, which is the age of becoming a man. So we were all going to do it together, all four of my brothers. But unfortunately I couldn't do that, but I'm blessed to be able to be here with you guys and do it with my brother and my cousin and one of our best friends. Thank you. So, like Dave, you were saying, we haven't... What? What was the heat today? I just did math here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, my mom told me it was it meant gift from God. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I have some family who had their bar bought in Mitzvah when I was 13, but my, I guess, nuclear family really didn't. And then my older brother had his on his trip, and so I guess now it's become a bit of a tradition. What was the judgment of God one? <laughs> what? What's the name? Danielle. Danielle, that's me. And uh, I was never really religious. And I heard about this trip, and it was free. And I was like, yeah, I'm a Jew, I'm going to totally do that. And I thought I was going to come here and just bullshit around the whole time. But I actually learned a lot over these last few days about who I am and who my people are. And I just wanted to thank you guys for being here and letting me do this. And I'm ready to join my people. Woo! I live for David, and I'm sure you know we're all family here. And um, our great grandfather was, uh, but anyway, he came from Poland. He escaped the Holocaust. So all his family died except for him, and he was super involved in the community. So he had done uh, bar and bat mitzvahs for basically all of our family before us, and he died right before we were born, basically, like right after. Him. And yeah, so we, after he died, our family kind of stopped doing it. But as we grew older, we kind of decided we wanted to get one done as it became closer to our culture, I guess. And yeah, like he said, we made a plan with our family when our youngest family member, who's now 13, like two weeks ago, turned, we would all come to Israel and get a bar mitzvah. But as he said, we obviously couldn't do that. But yeah, I guess this is the second best thing. So thank you guys. Bullshit. Bullshit.